because you're gonna get walled off for sure. You're gonna get a pluck on to do, and let's get the party started, huh? Playoffs are on, the Sunders are out, and the first blood is there. For That's right, I mean, look across the way. It's the same for the Finn rear, and they're gonna be getting a lot of damage on the Queen And you know what? We'll just plow right through that. Ready to get the purple buff. A pluck out to keep Calvin away, but maybe you want that dash. Sobek might just go down and does. Herox able to find the kill on the rotation. Looks for the bite, but Krakito blinks. It's just that everyone's been really good at exactly what Krakito did. Getting out alive right now. <laughs> the Cersei's backstone That's... to get closer for the ult! I build goons. Now we got a full grouping on this left-hand side. Everyone's here, but other than another, Kalino's already in trouble. The Dazzling Events is trying to get away in time, but we'll get caught by the bite and brought down. Herox with their third kill. Can you turn and find another? No, knocked up instead by the Storm Call. Fucked back into more damage and gone by the Sobexecute. Fucked back on to Calvin. Might be the first pick of this fight. Stuck under the tower. The Hexstone cannot get you away. Open the gates, Mike, but followed up on. But no, the Rocket Jump is good. A good escape there from Calvin. Meanwhile, Kalino, who had rotated over, will pay the price for it as Herox will pick up their fourth kill. So near almost dead. Same story for the Sobek. Brought back by the gates, but the dash forward caught. Herox there again. Looks for the fight. Won't find the on her. And I think they might even gotten the steal on that fire giant. Looking for the Fenrir. There's a talisman out. Look at the damage in the back line of Mockingbird. But Spotty was able to clean up Kleino, who was in their face. Dutcher will still go down, but the distraction, it wasn't good enough. That's This is getting messy quickly for Bill's goons. Wall, looking for a freeze, not there. Kalino dash away. So back, tail whipping in front of nobody, and Dedouin will make Dutch your pay. Dedouin did not forget the first blood that started this game off, and Mockingbird did not either. They're looking for the first blood of the set. Picking out another one, it's a prill down to Calvin. Fertilize on, the blink to reposition won't matter. Titan's dying. Krakito can get the ego chow all he wants. Mockingbird is gonna take game number one. I mean, that it was just playing clean from them, right? I mean, early on- Five, just like chill under your tower. That's what I- Well, I mean, we'll see. I mean, one more auto? Oh, one more oh, auto? One more oh. auto? Kirkito gets it. April's like, come on, that should've been mine. But first blood, over to the soul. And that's a- uh, <laughs> You better hope those health pods stick fast enough. And they do not. That's a dead dog. That's two dead dogs already for Mockingbird. I'd probably be a lot more heavy-handed on it. It definitely feels like something that maybe isn't as uh, impactful and maybe as important for Mockingbird, but that lane for Duduin. I'm pretty sure the Loki is going to be more than okay with the situation. Duduin gets a kill, maybe back in it already, especially if it's two. Sort of C at this point. Trouble for the Ymir. Should be a death. One more auto, but that's been the secret so far in this game, and hitting them and getting ahead back behind. You've got to be able to make those adjustments mid-game. But if Ymir just walks at you, I guess you'll accept the gift. I, I'm not sure what Calvin thought would happen. Maybe the Jingwei gets a pick, but that was a bit questionable. Yeah, I feel like... Maybe, well, that was, there's not even a rotation coming through. I, I don't know where they were at other than maybe... I'm not sure why, and now it might even be a third death. Life of the party will catch. That wall's not going to block you off. The pull-in. Damage down. A rampage for Kraki over four, seven minutes. Hits the clock. That one small, oh, this is, this is great, it has turned into a whole lot of, oh, no, things are going catastrophic. But now, you're even talking about a kill uh, on your mid laner. Herox trying to make the most of it and get something going for Mockingbird, but it's having a really hard time killing April. And Calvin will actually get the last hit. The wall will help get the Loki away, but Calvin uh, will just accept the sacrifice and try to take out the blue buff on its way to the grayscale. Spear of the Nine wins won't hit, but everything else sure is. Other than another is down. It is a trade out. No more Herox for the fight, but the Mockingbird, they're not done grabbing picks. This is the exact thing that was not being too solidified. Those goons might need a fight like this, but the Rocket's not gonna find Calvin. Soul's taking a lot of damage, has to blink out of the Whirlwind, which leaves open an engage tool, and that's gonna be a kill for Hawk. And a big time shutdown goes to the Cuckoo. You can even see it in the charts. Rocket out, or mention the secure, and it works indeed! Mockingbird steal away the Gold Fury. But what about the stuff after the stuff? The stuff. 
and what I like to see, and maybe we'll see a little bit more. That this actually thing doesn't feel good vibes. Bit. That's bad vibes. You want good vibes, Phil's goons. Maybe they can turn it around, find a pick into doing. They can with the fade away on the Tanuki. All right, so that was messy gore. But yeah. The vibes are still a net positive. The math. But they have their Amaterasu going in, turns into a disengage tool. Now the Ama is separated, the wall is perfect, and Spudio gets the kill. Together and, and then reassessed for the next fight instead yeah. of letting Mockingbird get even a little bit. And it's that, that two steps forward, one step back, you're still making progress. So they love to fight. You want that first blood bounty. You want to start off as much as you can. You don't want to get caught out against the wall. Like that for the first blood. Credit goes to Calvin. But when will the picks start falling? Calvin's walking right by the Baron and almost gets away. But now they start to fall. A double kill for April. Right, immediately, but then also the Fury. Like, that is a great, great turnaround. Unfortunate, that's the kill. Back at the party, catches the mural, but still able to bring them back. And they'll go down, a killing spree for the Danzaburo. Herox caught out on the Loki, could be sent to the Gray Scale, gets the ult away, a new engage comes out. Calvin looks for the opening for the rest of the team, but doesn't get enough damage across and goes down. What perfect timing from Hawk, and even better from Herox to bring down Krakito. A fantastic start out for Mockingbird. Kleino is a bit too tanky to overcommit on, but damage. It just feels like there is not a whole lot of wiggle room for a Fenrir and a Loki right now. And, and this, the pace of this game, the way this game is set up, you've got to go in, you got to get a, a, a massive ult. Mockingbird had that. They posture on fire, they find their engage in the form of the Fenrir. They bring back one, the damage might be enough for the kill. Lots of committal and it works out. Down, Amaterasu and Danzaburo are not in the mid lane to help things out. The wall's good, the Cersei's hex to get away. Caught by the Ragnarok, the Baron comes back to be set six feet deep with Spudio getting the credit and Mockingbird make it work in the mid lane so far. Danza and Ama on the way. Soul trying to slow things down, buy some time for the engage. There is that engage. The rocket follows the offensive. Can you get the kill though? Yes, you can. Krakino cleans it up, but Spudio over the wall. The airstrike finds its target, and the crossbow bolts are just as good. It's a triple kill for Spud in the mid lane, and Mockingbird are just too damn good at team fighting. So Mockingbird, they're playing this slow burn really well. And Bill's goons, they're not in panic territory, but they're getting close. The Hexstone in, Mockingbird, what a call game. Ultimate's out, onto the Titan, Spirit 2, Calvin's gone, April's holding on, but that Titan, it might be too low. You've got to make it work, but they won't. Mockingbird had a ring to shine, and they do it indeed. They take it 2-0. Uh, I was very impressed. I'm giving, I'm giving Calvin the MVP of this.